Is there any other way for an applicant or information from an applicant mm -hmm. to be put into the system? Not that I'm aware of. Just at the offices, district offices, yeah. or through that mobile system. That's you've had a lot of you at the missions, right? Which is we have the data capture too. Mm -hmm. At some of the Belizean em embassies. The, the embassies have data capture as well? Some of them, yes. Which ones? It will be um, Washington. It is um, Miami. Uh, Los Angeles. Chicago. Uh, New York. London and Taiwan. Seven nations. And what do they have there to capture this data? They have, similar to what we have in Benopan, just the data capturing machine, which is the camera, scanner, fingerprint, and that's it. And then that information is sent to Belize yes. electronically? Yes, uh, it's and live connection. It's live? Yes, yeah, so as they enter it, we, uh, we receive it. These people visited someone in Dailian, China. Apparently, They had applied for some economic citizenship program. And I'm wondering, mm -hmm. how could a passport be issued legally mm -hmm. through a system, through an economic citizenship program, if that's what was happening? Mm -hmm. How could this passport be issued in Belize and these people were in Dailian, China. Yeah, I uh, wouldn't know, sir. Uh, you only have the system, as I mentioned, on those missions, and also at the district offices here in Belize. So, so there was no data capture equipment in China, as far as you know. Yes, no. Okay. Only in the places that you mentioned. Yes, that's right, sir.